In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this liquidy, distorted text just in time for hot animator summer. No plugins required. You can download the project file for free. I Let's get into it. All right, so I just have my After Effects laid out in this kind of vertical setup, so do not be alarmed if it looks different than yours. Everything else is exactly the same. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a new text layer, and I'll just write something like summer here, and this is an Adobe font, so if you pay for Creative Cloud, then you can just go ahead and download this from Adobe Fonts and follow along. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is add on a scale wipe to this, and we'll go ahead and put the center point in the center. We'll put the direction down to 180, and then we'll go ahead and stretch this out. But you'll notice that this is getting cut off here. So what do we wanna do? We wanna go ahead and add on a CC composite to this and then drag it to the top, and this will just put our text back where it belongs. Now, if you don't like how this is kind of blurry down here, when it stretches, what you can do is you can add on a refine hard mat to this, and it will make it less blurry down here. I'm gonna um, not do this, I'm gonna take it off because it does uh, make it a little bit slow to work with, so I'll just take this off for now, delete that. Now, the next thing we wanna do is add on a wave warp to this and I'm gonna put the direction to be vertical. I will make the width to be pretty wide. Something like that is pretty cool. I'm gonna put the speed at zero. And now what I wanna do is I want to draw a mask on here. Oh, first what I wanna do, actually I want to make my stretch go back off the screen. I like the way that looks when it goes off the screen. Okay, now I wanna draw a mask on the wave warp on the text layer. So I will draw a mask here to about where to about here, and I can't see this. I'm gonna turn this on none for right now while I can see this. And I will draw this mask to be like at the bottom of these letters, maybe about right here. All right, and we will open up the effect of our wave warp. Turn my, bas my mask back on add. And under the compositing options for our wave warp, check this box and now this mask is just affecting our wave warp and let's nudge this into place do about here is cool and i want to get this to line up with our wave warp here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to nudge this phase until it kind of lines up with these letters here so it looks like it's kind of evenly flowing something like that, now that's cool. So now we can block out some kind of animation with both this wave warp and the scale wipe. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the scale wipe and I will animate this stretch from, let's say zero to this stretch. So I'll go back to zero, type that in. So we'll get something like that. And you know, we'll add some easy ease with F9. So we get something like that, drips down. And I think I'll also want to animate this wave um, width here, or sorry, the wave height from zero to 10 as well, something like this, and get some easy ease on there. So we get something like that. Pretty cool. Now I can add some variation in here if I put in a CC smear like this, and then kind of play with this big old smear we got going on. So I will kind of put these drops in place, the, the to and from, maybe something like this could be cool. And then play with the reach and radius. So maybe really crank up the reach and radius a lot like this. Maybe make a maximum here and here, somewhere where you like it, like this. And then what I'll do is I will, over time, kind of animate the two position. So the two is this one, and maybe I'll have it kind of move around. So I'll go here, make a keyframe, go back to the beginning, and maybe have it go like that a little bit. All right, so I fudged it a little bit, looks something like that. Oh, whatever, drip, cool. Now I wanna blur this stuff up too, so I'm gonna to add a camera lens blur like this. 
and we'll kind of blur this up a bit. But I think what I want to do is I want to also make this camera lens blur only affected by this mask here. So we'll add on the that compositing options only to this mask. But the problem is this is too much of a um, hard edge on this mask. So what we could do, the, the nice thing about a camera lens blur is we can, have, we can add it to a blur map. So what we'll do is we'll make a new solid here. We'll call this gradient map and we'll add a gradient ramp to this. All right. And this gradient will look something like this. This is totally, this linear gradient is cool. We'll bring it under so we can see what we're doing and just try to make this gradient from black to white where we want it. Something like that is cool. And now on our text layer here on this blur map where our source is gonna be the gradient ramp and the source will be effects and masks like this. You can turn it off and you can see more now how it is blurring only here down at the bottom. And you can mess with the settings here. And I think this wants to be inverted. Now we get this really nice blur down here. All right, now we're ready to pre-comp this. So I'll call this comp like text comp. And I'm gonna go ahead and pre-comp this. All right, and then we'll call this one main comp. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna split these channels into R, G, and B. So this first one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to red on this layer color. I'm gonna add an effect called shift channels to this, we wanna turn off all of these channels except for red, so green full off, blue full off, and then we will go ahead and duplicate this and turn this one to blue and turn off the channels except for blue. All right, and then we wanna duplicate this one and then turn this one to green and turn off the channels except for green. All right, and then now for all of these, we want to change the blending mode to lighten, all right? And then it looks normal again, but if we nudge each one of these a couple of pixels, move the green one up to, move the blue one over to, move the red one down to, over one like this, now we get this nice little chromatic aberration effect, all right? Because they are all one channel. So now let's add some cool distortion to each one of these channels. So I'm gonna throw on a liquify to one of these. Let's say onto our red channel. And what we'll do is let's add some like cool teases. I'm all about teasing. So maybe on this S what we'll do is we'll make this drip a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a keyframe on the liquify on the distortion mesh here. Grab this and we made a little keyframe here and then we'll go forward a bit and really make this kind of drip down like this, something like that. All right, ease it up and it'll look like this. Cool, that's kind of cool. These aren't perfect. I'm just kind of showing you examples of how it could look. And then maybe on blue, we'll do the same thing add a liquify and maybe it'll happen on the M's here. So we'll go to the first keyframe, add a distortion mesh keyframe, and then go over a little bit and really kind of pull these M's down. I'm gonna make the uh, brush a little bit bigger and we'll just kind of pull these down like this. All right, ease it up a bit. So we get something that looks like that. Cool. Then maybe on the R we'll make it like, it's gonna start dropping down up here, like collapsing in on itself. So we'll make it like up here, something like that. It's kind of cool. All right, no idea how this is actually gonna look. Just examples of what you could do. And then so when we play this back, that's really bad. Okay, I don't, don't like that at all. But play this back. And you just kind of get these feelings of like, stuff's kind of melting before the big melt happens. All right, just examples. All right, so now what I also want to do, since this is like summer, I want to kind of give it like heat waves. So I'm going to also add on some wave warps again and make this vertical and maybe make the height down 
but the width tall and make the speed pretty slow, like 0.2. And we'll just kind of add that on here. So it's just kind of going like that. And we'll animate the height from zero. Go over a few keyframes up to like five. And then it'll look something like that. It comes out of nowhere and then starts shaking. And we could just add this to all of these. If we just copy this wave warp and just paste it on all of them, maybe a little bit staggered. And then we'll get something like this. And we could change the phase a little bit so that they're all different. Now we have kind of how all these kind of offset um, layers and they're all kind of waving around. That's kind of cool. Now let's say you don't like these RGB colors. You could go ahead and add a fill on to these, but I would recommend not straying too far from the RGB. So you could just make like a softer red or like a more of a pink or something like that instead of blue. Maybe it's more like a cyan or something like this. Um, and you could kind of change the colors to be to change this way instead of green Maybe it's more of like a cyan again, and you can start to change the colors uh, That way and get some cool variation in colors and then on top I can also add something like an adjustment layer with a gradient ramp and Do some kind of more variation of colors this way add some uh, summer colors and then cycle through blending modes like this until I have something interesting that overlays on top. Something like that is kind of neat. But this is all just personal flavor on top. All right, so that is it for this video. If you want to go ahead and download this project file that I polished up a bit more, you may do so in the link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned something. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.